Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm gonna to talk about the five things that you probably did not know about the turkey's eyes. If that interests you, stick around. Happy Thanksgiving guys. I thought for Thanksgiving day, I'd put a quick video together on the five things that you didn't know about the turkey's vision. And I'm guessing you didn't know because I didn't know. So let's get at it. All right guys, for number one, first thing you didn't know, the turkeys have 270 degree peripheral vision, which means each eye is on one side of the head. And they can see from back here at about 45 degrees all the way around to the front. The other eye picks up, goes all the way around to the back. It leaves a little 45 degree wedge in the back. Then all they need to do is turn their head about this far and this far, and they've got 360 degree vision, just like a periscope. Number two, turkeys can see three times better than humans. So when we have 20-20 vision, which is our normal vision, the turkeys can see 20 over six or better, which is phenomenal for long distances to see that, you know, they may have um, a coyote or something coming that they're concerned about that allows them to get away faster. So that's pretty incredible. 360 degree vision, better than 20 over six vision. That's unbelievable. And that's number two. Number three, the third thing that you didn't know about turkey's vision is they, they don't have any depth perception because each eye is on one side of the head. It doesn't work well together to get any depth perception, but they need depth perception. So what do they do with, with that periscopic vision and the fact that they bob their heads a lot that gives them really decent depth perception, even though both eyes aren't working together. Number four, humans have photoreceptors in our retina that allow us to see. We have one type of rod that allows us to see peripherally with motion and three types of cones that give us really good central vision. Well, the turkeys have one type of rod as well, but they have six types of cones, which allows them to see really fine details like we said with the 20 over 6 vision and amazing color. So if you've noticed many turkeys have this crazy colored head and one of the reasons that they do is because I'm sure it allows them to recognize each other much easier than if they didn't. So now for number five, humans have the ability to see anything in the visible spectrum. The visible spectrum goes from the reds all the way through the orange, yellows, blue, indigo, and violet, and that's pretty much the visible spectrum. But the turkey can go beyond the blue, beyond the violet, down into the UVA range of 400 nanometers. And so you think, what's that do? Well, for one, um, it allows them to see things that we can't. To give you an example, Many times hunters will get up really early in the morning, they'll put on their camo, they'll go into the woods turkey hunting, and they think they're getting the jump on the turkeys, when in fact, they're actually giving the turkey an advantage. And you wonder how? Well, they wash their clothes in one of those um, white and bright detergents that is supposed to bring the colors out more. But what that does is it leaves a little bit of ultraviolet A residue on the clothing. So when those hunters go into the woods five in the morning before the sun comes up and they know they're gonna be able to sneak up on those turkeys, they look like ghosts coming over the horizon. They lay up like a Christmas tree to the turkeys. The turkeys can actually see that UV haze around the hunters. And they must just sit there and crack up and go, yeah, here they come again, we, let's, uh, let's go hide over here. So that, on top of being able to run 25 miles an hour, fly at 50 miles an hour, even though they can't fly far, um, they're a direct descendant of the Velociraptor, which is kind of cool. It is amazing that we're able to catch these things and put them on our table today. So I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to my patients, to my subscribers, to my family and friends, and to anyone who lives in this great country of the United States of America. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care.